The 13th edition of the Velocity Fest was shaping up to be the best early season meet on Jamaican soil. Johan Blake, Sharika Jackson, Elaine Thompson Hira, Tajay Gale, and Shade Williams of Barbados were all slated to compete. The track and field weekend saw Jamaica's Akira Nugent winning the 100 meters in a new meeting record of 11.13 seconds at the John McDonnell Invitational to demolish Samoy Hackett's meeting record of 11.30 seconds. However, the Velocity Fest 13 was one for the history books as our athletes dominated both on the track and in the field. Here are a few highlights from five of the best performances from the Velocity Fest 13 meeting in Kingston, Jamaica. Number 5. Tajay Gale leaps 7.90 meters to win the long jump. In lane 4, Zarnell Hughes in lane 5, Julian Fort in lane 6, Nigel Ellis in lane number 7. Jamaica's Tajay Gale has been having quite a hard time returning to his 2019 form that saw him leap a Jamaican national record of 8.69 meters to win the long jump at the 2019 Doha World Championships. At the Velocity Fest 13, Gale took all six attempts in the long jump competition, with his best mark coming on his fourth attempt when he leaped 7.90 meters. Gale looked comfortable while competing, as he would be ready in July for the Jamaican National Championships to face off with Kerry McLeod and Wayne Pinnock to make the Budapest World Championship team. Number 4. Shade Williams opens her 400 meters campaign with 51.84 seconds. Barbadian Shade Williams took the world by storm when she earned bronze in the 400 meters at the 2022 Eugene World Championships with a national record of 49.75 seconds. She went on to win gold at the Birmingham Commonwealth Games in a new games record of 49.90 seconds and took silver with 49.86 seconds at the NACAC Games in the Bahamas. At the Velocity Fest 13, Shade Williams was able to run quite a controlled 400 meters race as she led the field from start to finish and crossed the line in her fastest season opener of 51.84 seconds. Williams could steadily progress and be in medal contention for the August Budapest World Championships. Number 3. Akeem Blake runs 9.99 seconds to win the 100 meters. Blake in 6. Gone hard, setting them away. A quick starter is Blake. Oh, he's wearing some yellow socks this afternoon. Colorful is Blake. Stepping away is Blake for Michael Stevens. Blake, 9.99 seconds for Blake. Since running 9.95 seconds to play second behind Christian Coleman in the 100 meters at the New York Grand Prix, the world began to take notice of Jamaica's Akeem Blake. Blake ran a personal best of 9.93 seconds to place third in the 100 meters at the Jamaica National Championships and managed to make it to the semi-finals of the event at the Eugene World Championships. Akeem Blake went on to win the 100 meters at the Bahamian NACAC Games with a games record of 9.98 seconds and ran 10.09 seconds to place fourth at the Gala de Castelli to end his season. So far this season, Blake had an undefeated 60-meter streak by winning all three races. He opened his 100 meters season at the Miramar Invitational with two aided races of 10.05 seconds and 9.93 seconds. After competing on the international scene, Blake decided to participate in the 100 meters at the Velocity Fest 13. In his semi-final, Blake ran an easy 9.99 seconds to make him the joint second fastest Jamaican man this season alongside Buwaji and Krumi. In the final, Blake got his best start and separated himself from the field to take the win, but there was no time shown on the clock. In the end, it was said that he false started and the clock stopped working. This race was a potential personal best for Blake, but only time will tell as he should be on the Diamond League circuit within a month's time. Number 2. Kerika Hill runs a new personal best and meeting record of 12.75 seconds to win the 100 meters hurdles. And great start from Megan Tapper. Tapper on the inside. Tapper is moving away from the young lady Hill. No, Karika Hill is gathering some storm. Here comes Hill, coming right back. Oh, it's Hill, oh, back ahead of Tapper. Karika Hill, 12.75 seconds. 
Since winning double gold in both the 100m hurdles and 4x100m relay at the 2022 World Under-20 Championships in Cali, Colombia, fans have been waiting to see what Karika Hill has in store, especially since going professional to train with the Elite Performance Track Club. Hill opened her season in the 60m at the Gibson McCook Relays, where she placed third in a personal best of 7.10 seconds. She also went on to run two 100m hurdlers races at the Tom Jones Invitational, where she ran a windy 12.68 seconds to place third in her semi-final and 12.86 seconds to place fifth in the final. At the Velocity Fest 13, Hill was lined up against her training partner and countrywoman, Olympic 100m hurdles bronze medalist Megan Tapper. It was time for the race, and Tapper got the best start. Hill seemed to have been behind, but she got the better of her in the latter stages as Hill won in a new personal best and meeting record of 12.75 seconds just outside Brittany Anderson's World Under-20 record of 12.71 seconds. Tapper was second in 12.99 seconds. Carica Hill should be even more dangerous as time progresses. Number 1. Sharika Jackson wins the 100 meters in a new world leading and meeting record of 10.82 seconds. It's a clean start for the ladies. 100 meters. Jackson gets so 12. So too Morrison. Jackson now pulls away from Natasha Morrison and the entire field. Jackson, a water dominating performance. 10.82, negative 0 0.10. That is the wind reading. After running 50.92 seconds to win the 400 meters at the Velocity Fest 12, Fans have been waiting to see what Sharika Jackson has in store over the 100 meters. Jackson ran a very controlled 11.05 seconds to lead the qualifiers into the final with hopes of a sub-11 on the cards. In the final, Jackson got a relatively good start as she moved away from the rest of the field and crossed the line in a world-leading and meeting record of 10.82 seconds to show the world that she is ready to take on the 100 meters this season. Jackson should be even quicker next month on the Wanda Diamond League circuit. The Velocity Fest 13 was a success for our Caribbean athletes, as more of them should be competing in intensified meets within weeks to come, such as the weekly Wanda Diamond League and World Athletics Continental Tours. What do you think of these performances at the Velocity Fest 13 meeting? We look forward to your feedback. Stay tuned to Gyro Caribbean Sports as we bring you all the action from this year's track and field season. As always, we'd like to thank you for watching and remind you to like, subscribe, and turn on the notification bell as we celebrate our Caribbean athletes together. This is Gyre Caribbean Sports. See you in the next video.